Hi everybody! The four-year-old class and I have been reading a lot of stories from this book called Frog and Toad, a storybook favorite. So this book has a lot of stories about these friends, Frog and Toad, and some of the adventures they have. And today we couldn't decide which story to read, one about ice cream or one about Christmas Eve. And we read the one about ice cream, and I said I'd record the one about Christmas Eve. It's just a quick story. It's kind of toward the end of our book. Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, Toad cooked a big dinner. He decorated the tree. Hmm, Frog is late, said Toad. He looked at his clock, and then he remembered it was broken. The hands of his clock did not move. Toad opened the front door, and he looked out into the night. Frog wasn't there. Hmm, I'm worried, said Toad. He's feeling worried, wondering where Frog is. He's running late. <gasps> what if something terrible happened to Frog, said Toad? What if Frog has fallen into a deep hole and cannot get out? I will never see him again. To Toad opened the door again. Frog was not on the path. <gasps> what if Frog is lost in the woods, said Toad. What if he's cold and wet and hungry? Oh, he's very worried. <gasps> what if Frog is being chased by a big animal with many sharp teeth? What if he's going to be eaten up, cried Toad. My friend and I will never have another Christmas together. Aww. Toad found some rope in the cellar. I will pull Frog out of the hole with this, said Toad. Toad found a lantern in the attic. Frog will see this light. I will show him the way out of the woods, said Toad. Who has some good ideas to help Frog. Toad found a frying pan in the kitchen. I'll get that big animal with this, said Toad. All of his teeth will fall out. Hmm. Frog, don't worry, cried Toad. I'm coming to help you. Toad carried all his things and ran out of his house. And there was Frog. Hmm. Hello, Toad, Frog said. I'm very sorry to be late. I was wrapping your present. You're not at the bottom of a hole, said Toad. No, said Frog. You're not lost in the woods, asked Toad. No, said Frog. You're not being eaten by a big animal, asked Toad. No, said Frog, not at all. Oh, Frog, said Toad. I'm so glad to be spending Christmas Eve with you. Toad opened his present from Frog. It was a beautiful new clock. The two friends sat by the fire. The hands of the clock moved to show the hours of a merry Christmas Eve. Hmm. In that story, Toad was getting so worried because Frog was late. But Frog was fine the whole time. He was just a little bit running a little late because he was wrapping Toad's present. He was safe the whole time. But I like how Toad thought of some ideas for helping Frog if something was wrong. He was prepared, even though Frog was okay. Anyway, again, I like this story by Arnold Lobel about Frog and Toad and their adventures together. Highly recommend it if you like stories about friends. All right, I'll talk, see you later.